Hey everyone, welcome back to Silent Hill 3. Last time, Heather, uh, well, no, I'm sorry, I mean Princess Heart, superhero. She is taking out all of the bad guys, isn't that right? Yes? And what are you taking out with? Sexy. Yep, you're taking it out with her sexy beam. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Awesome. So, yeah, we're going to be continuing uh, from this here. We also see Doug, Doug, Douglas's true form as well. We see him in the underwear. So, yeah, let's that's, that's just go ahead. Oh, we definitely need those. Hmm. Well, Douglas, he's an interesting one. Wearing his boxers and a detective. Who is he trying to kid? Thinking that, making us believe that he's a detective. Like, come on now. You, you cannot be a detective and wear that. It's just impossible. Hmm. Here's that toilet again. It looks like it's been used with that dookie that's in it. Well... Time to annihilate the dude. Oh no, Heather. I mean, Princess Hurt. There we go. Let's just do that. There you go. Let's see if we, if we can get the laser. There we go. Clean up the toilet with your superpowers, Heather. Douglas is true form, yes. Oh, that's just so funny. It really is. Oh, well. Hmm. Really? Can we really not open it up with her with her beam? Sexy. Wow. Well, I guess we better use our. Let's go ahead and use our flamethrower then. Open it up. That doesn't work either. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess we're using our some limited submachine gun. That definitely works. Colonel, I'm still stuck in the wall on the third playthrough. And now my legs are on fire. I don't know why, why am I making this sound like that? That's not even how he sounds. My gosh, I'm just not a good... I don't impersonate well, I guess. There you go. I gotta go deeper. I gotta go deeper. All right. Sexy. Colonel. Stuck in the wall, and I'm being sexy beamed. You are indeed being sexy beamed, the snake. Do we die if we jump down here without putting down the mattress? I don't know. One more for for a good good measure. Yeah, there we go. Have fun in there, Snake. I gave you my sexy beam powers. Yeah, you gotta you got beam everything. Just beam it all. Just like these right here. These are beams, are they not? Those are beams. No, you don't. No, you don't. There we go. That's the way we like it. Well, here we are now in the hilltop center. There is something else that's different here as well in the Hilltop Center. That's right, you don't even have a map of this area now, do you, Heather?
What if we try to kill the mannequin first, though? There we go. Hmm. Doesn't want to be sexy beamed. That blood is still red, though. Make sure that we put it back to purple blood. Violet, rather. There we go. Maybe one of these days we will read those Shakespeare books. She, Heather does have them in, in her inventory, and she did say that she didn't really read them before. All right, now, doggies. There we go. That's good old mummified doggies. That's right, you don't have a map for this area, Heather. Whatever shall we do without a map? Well, we shall look at a different map. Okay, we actually want to go over here. Wait, no, this isn't the right way. I got those dogs. Oh, never mind. That is the right way. <laughs> hmm. Eh, yeah, we don't need the bullets at all. Wild office dogs. Yeah, that, 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 that makes you wonder. Why are the dogs in this office? So here's something else that's on Riddle Level Easy. This is just open. You don't need the screwdriver. You, you just get it right there. Easy peasy. Monica's dance studio. Well, I think we should go ahead in and into Monica's dance studio. And, uh, see what's going on. There you go, look, he was really dancing there, did you see him? He was dancing good. And here comes this groovy music again, here we go. Alright, Heather, that is enough uh, dancing for one day. I know that once this enemy passes away, the music's going to stop. Ah, uh, music stopped. I think, I think that's like one of the few and only times you hear that music in there. I think that that music is more associated with the insane cancer enemy. I think you will hear it more around the insane cancers. Okay, we actually want to go down to... Where is it? Floor? Okay. This is where you would normally get the screwdriver, but the screwdriver's not even there. No, it's not even there. Instead, oh, I got a, I got lost there. There we go. And with the, the katana, there we go. We got a katana. Yeah, as you can see, there's really no, no reason to come up in that top part. We are nullifying the cancer one again, once again with this amazing laser. Oh, he has more health than the other insane cancer. Yeah. The, in the insane cancer in the subway had hardly any, any health.
Okay, well. Time to pretty much get out of this area. This area is pretty sh small too. I found when I was doing my run on easy really quickly, I found that the hospital took me the longest, I believe. And the church was actually very straightforward. Shakespeare. Yes, I think you need to read read that one of these days, Heather. Here you go. Here's another one of Princess's Heart's superpowers. Look at that. Amazing, amazing superpower she has there. There we go. We are downstairs now. We're not going to save just yet. So we have a Vincent to go see. Oh, I knew it. It's interesting how she sees the blood come out of there and then just everything changes. The room changes, the layout changes. It's so bizarre. As it's being invaded by the other world. Yes, she did, Heather, but you're a superhero after all. It doesn't matter what anyone else does. You could just defeat them all with your superhero powers. Matter of fact, right here, Sexy you can just get rid of them with your superpowers. Look at that. Although it's having no effect on them, huh? Interesting. This is just an, such an interesting sight. Oh, there's another baby down here, too. Right there, at the edge. Hmm. Interesting things, you notice. Oh, the slippers. The amazing slippers. Here we go. Wait, is he dead already? Wow, okay. <laughs> that was fast. All right, it's time to see our good old friend Vincent now. Vincent, what are you up to, buddy? What are you up to? Heather, that's what you're called now, isn't it? And who are you? She's actually called Princess Heart now. Don't forget it, okay? I'm on your side. So you say. But how do I know you're not with her? Her? You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. She was totally brainwashed by that crazy old hag. I guess crazy old hag is a bit harsh. She is your mother, after all. My mother? What do you mean? You don't remember? Uh, so Harry didn't tell you anything. I guess he hid the truth to keep you on his side, eh? That figures. 
He's a pretty sneaky guy. Don't talk about my dad like that! Sorry. I apologize. Please, calm down. How do you know my father anyway? I know everything. I know about your past, too. Then tell me what's going on. You don't know even that? That's why I'm asking. She does not know that she's a superhero, I guess, after all. Put an end to this. Not yet. Why not enjoy yourself a bit longer? Enjoy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Doesn't this place get to you at all? Oh, it gets to me all right. I find it most fascinating. Wait! I'm not finished talking! I knew you were on her side. How do you figure? There's something wrong with you two. Hmm. Vincent has no no reaction to our Princess Heart costume. Not a single reaction. No one is no one is complimenting Heather on her amazing superhero powers. Yeah, they are. All right, this this will actually be pretty quick going through this area. So all we have to do is just find the three stories. That's pretty easy to do. This is a fairy tale of a superhero named Princess Heart. And we also can't kill this thing. Can't do anything to that. And there is something interesting here that hopefully I'll be able to show it off. Not entirely sure it's actually the other way. Let's see if, if, if this actually is on the PC version. It'd be interesting for sure. Okay, it is. Okay, so I'm going to turn down the uh, music so we can hear it. There we go. And I'm going to turn off my radio as well. Okay, here we go. I want, I want him to talk some more. There you go, when he hits us. <laughs> and it just uses the Japanese voices, but you have to have this uh, weapon equipped. Like, if you... I mean, you can have different weapon equipped, but you but you won't hear that screech that Hello does. Six. But yeah, it's it's just really, really interesting. I believe it only happens in this room. And it's only with this enemy. Very interesting. Let's get the music back on. We have to have, have the amazing music play. Alright, well... 
Let's head up to floor five now. As the slurpers are going to be sexy beamed. They seem to be able to be taken out pretty easily. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, he went flying around that corner. I think he's playing dead though. Hang on a minute. Oh no, maybe he's not. He's he's bleeding. I have a bad feeling though. I think he's playing dead. No, he's not. Okay. <laughs> I can never tell with those guys if they're playing dead or 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 not. How much enemies we've killed? We've definitely exceeded what we need to in order to get the ending that we're looking for. Let's combine our Oxidol, Pork Liver, Matchbook, and Shakespeare books. No? Oh. Okay, we can't get rid of the Shakespeare books. Just wanted to burn them. This is another one of Heather's superpowers. Again, all these amazing things that she does. Superhero power right here. Burning down pictures with... Oxidol and pork liver. That's actually one of... It's one of her top superpowers, but it is, is not her best superpower. It's her second best superpower. Her, 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 her best superpower is... Hmm. I don't know. What would her best superpower be? It's just her sexiness. Her sexy beamness. Now, this is going through the wall. It does seem, it does seem, it seem to be hurting them, too. Oh, these slurpers. Oh, there we go. Okay. Plus a slipper under here that we can just. Oh no! I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know if we can do any damage to him. I remember we we killed him with the submachine gun before. Everything just looks really red in here for some reason. Sexy. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if we killed him or what, but I guess we did. 
Again, we never actually got to see that scare of him coming out. That is just a really scary thing that happens. Right. And then this weird dog that, that that just appears. Oh wait, we don't have any more stamina. Well, we'll have to deal with him later when we get back. We cannot have any anyone escape the superpowers of Princess Heart. Oh, let's not forget this. This is also a superpower Heather has. She's got so many superpowers. Can you can you believe that? Look at that amazing superpower. Getting keys out of soda cans. That's one of the best superpowers. Okay, here's that doggy that just appears in this room. Oh, no, doggy, you can't do that. All right, well, it's time to finish this, this area up now. We just got to go back to the first floor with our key and then read the, the end of the fairy tale. Long way. The other one should be feasting over here. He indeed is. You know, we're just going to leave him there. Actually, no, no, we're not. We have to take him out. Look how he's feasting. We cannot allow this under our watch. That's what superheroes are for. Getting rid of feasters. Alright. Let's read the rest of the fairy tale. This is also another one of Heather's superpowers. Reading. Too fooey. Ego Ares. Weird writing. <gasps> what was that? Hmm. Well, everything's now gone. Heather's words are so powerful that they just can kill everything. But of course, it's not a replacement for the sexy beam. Okay, we're heading home now. I wonder what our dad would think of the sexy beam. I don't think he's going to be too happy with us, in all honesty. But first, we got to save, of course. We always got to save. There we go. An hour to get to this point. Wow. All right, it's time to head home. So let's see what awaits us at home. I'm home, Dad. Listen, something crazy is going on. Shut up! What happened? What happened? Well, it's like this. And that's about it. 
さあ、よい子のみんな集まれ。よい子のみんな、みんなそろそろ <笑> それじゃあ、そんな成長期のみんなでサイレントヒルの歌を歌おうかな。よし。行くよ。はい。1 2 
truly the real ending of the game. That is what really happened in Silent Hill. <laughs> and they all kill each other at the end. They're all just dead. Oh my goodness. That is... That is amazing. That is the revenge ending. Only four stars because the because the ending wasn't wasn't too too great because it's it's the ending that we don't go all the way to the end of the game. But we learned a lot about the characters during that Silent Hill song at the end. <sighs> you can never get a ten star rank with this because you never fight more than one one boss. And if you use that glitch to skip this boss, you don't even fight a boss at all. How many enemies did we end up killing? Oh, that's right. It doesn't even keep track. Look at that. <laughs> but we did use an extra, extra weapon. I got the revenge ending. Now, I, I loved that ending so much. I loved the song of that. And I actually created like my own remix of that, which I will be playing at the end. Um, we're going to play a few other videos first that I have found interesting. And then we're we'll listening to the song that I made that has some of the dialogue from that ending scene and the 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 music there. So it, it's a exclusive, shall we say, it's exclusive. Uh, it doesn't keep track of beams. Yeah, it doesn't keep track of beams. Now, we, we should not unlock any, anything for this, which we don't, as you can see. Nothing gets unlocked because we, we have everything now. The only other thing we technically do not have is getting a 10 star rank, which increases, you know, the beam saber and the flamethrower, which I'm not going to show off. I, it, there's really no no point in doing that. It's not something I not something I ever achieved. Never, never uh, went went for. So, yeah, so we have pretty much completed this game in its entirety. Now we're shown everything we possibly can. So there are a few other bonus things that I would like to show you. That this this whole session that we just did, absolutely incredible. <laughs> just just so funny because we have the transform costume. We have Douglas in his boxers, which unfortunately we could not see everything because you know we we didn't see the rest of his trip to Silent Hill. We didn't see him at the end at the amusement park in his boxers. It would have been so funny to see the the possessed ending with Douglas and his boxers being dead, killed by Heather. That would have been funny. That would have been awful, but it would have been funny. So anyway, there are a few things, uh, bonus videos that I would like to show you before we conclude this, as well as the song that I made, which will we will wrap it up with with that. So there are a decent amount of trailers for this game that came out before the game was released. But there's one in particular that I would like to show because it it shows off something a bit different about the game. As well as um, it gives it... it the, I, I think it, the, the trailer came out in it's the E3 2002 trailer and, and it came out a year before the game was released. So... There's also a little something else that's different there as well. So we'll take a look at that, and then there's a few other short videos, and then that will conclude it. All right, so here's the E3 trailer. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear.
witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise, despoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? Don't you know? Your power is needed. Remember me, and your true self as well. Also, that which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. <laughs> When am I going to wake up? I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. All right, so I find that trailer really interesting because number one, Heather's using the best weapon, the unlimited submachine gun. So that could be leaving viewers wondering, like, well, what weapon is that? I don't, I don't have that weapon. I don't see that weapon, you know, and it's quite difficult to unlock it. And secondly, we heard a little bit of a different song that played there for, from the opening theme. There was no lyrics. There was a, a voice di a dialogue over, over that, but it was mostly instrumental. Now, this isn't the trailer that has more of the instrumental track. There is another trailer um, that you can look up on your own called the TGS 2002 Autumn Trailer that actually has more of the instru instrumental version that we just kind of heard a, a bit of, of the opening, th opening theme. It's like the only where in existence that you can actually hear it. Now, there is like sound effects and shooting and other dialogue that's over top of it. But that is the one that has probably the uh, the most instrumental versions. Now there were there were two TV commercials as well that I would like to show. This TV commercial here was the U.S. TV commercial that um, I'm pretty sure I saw on TV when the game was released, and it's it's quite interesting to say the least. Turn on your light, and they'll see you. You make a sound, and they'll hear you. If you think it's scary being lost, just wait till you're found. Silent Hill 3, rated M for Mature. So I remember seeing that trailer quite a bit. I don't know anyone else who, who may remember that trailer, but that was a really interesting one. And then likewise, there was also one from the UK that played, which is, <laughs> I, I don't really have much comment for, for this one. Let's check it out. So that was the really bizarre UK commercial that aired on TV. That does that gives you no actual gameplay of the video of 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 the game at all. And the last thing, the last video to conclude it with, before we get to my song that I made, is the this video is called Usagi or Usagi, and it means rabbit. Let's check out. Robbie the Rabbit in this short video.
So there's Robbie the Rabbit's short little video that takes place pretty much in Brookhaven Hospital as well as a little bit in the um, Hilltop Center. You see some scenes there of his actions, and that's probably what he's doing behind the scenes. That video is also available on the Art, the art and Music of Silent Hill DVD, as well as I uh, see a comment here about Fakuro. Um, yes, that, that one is on there, as well as Key Note co or something along those lines both of those are from silent hill 2 so we would take a look at those when we get to silent hill 2 um but yeah that's uh i just really like that like that short short little video there i really do it's really interesting i've, I've watched it a lot of times and the and the music's pretty nice too all right so the last thing we're going to do is listen to the track that I made. Here's what we have for the background when we're listening to the track that I made regarding the UFO ending. Now, I either made this song using the PS2 game, um, like a, 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 a music creation game. I forget what it was called. It was like music something. Or I created it on my computer. I don't remember which one it was. I have a feeling that, though, it was the PlayStation 2 game. And I believe what I did was I didn't fully create the music or arrange the music. I think I used a preset song and I just may have tweaked it a little bit. But what I did is I took audio clips of the dialogue from the UFO ending. <laughs> Well, not, not the UFO ending. It's a combination of, of the UFO ending and the revenge ending here is what it is, is actually is. The, it's called the, the, the revenge ending, but it has some UFO elements in it. And I combine those together to make this track. It's, it's really... <laughs> it's what, you only hear it, you only hear it here. It's, it's a u unique track. Something else I should mention here, you know, Heather comes back, her father's still alive, there's an alien there. And also, James from Silent Hill 2 is back there. We have not seen him yet, because I've not played through Silent Hill 2, but once we do, maybe we will know why he's there. <laughs> There's a running joke regarding the UFO ending. So, anyway, let's go ahead and add the track in. Let's see. I call it I just called it the UFO remix. That's pretty much all, all that I called it. All right, here we go.
So that concludes my bizarre <laughs> song that I made from this ending. I want to say maybe when I was like 14 or 15 years old. It was a long time ago. Oh my goodness. It's just, <laughs> it's just so, uh, it was just hilarious. And, th and thank you so much there, so, so for the compliment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was pretty much half of my age now is what, is what I, is when I made that track. Just hilarious. But I thought I'd share it just to end it off with because it's not something that you're ever going to hear any anywhere else. You've heard it here first and you've heard it here last. <laughs> At the very end. So, yeah, that's going to conclude Silent Hill 3. This was a great game. This is one of my favorite games. I've played it. I've played through it so many times. I really, really have. And it's nice to have played through it again here. Recording all of the different moments, trying to show off everything that there possibly was, and hopefully I've been successful at showing off pretty much everything. So, yeah, I'm sure that there's some secrets that we don't know about, such as the one secret about Heather. If you stand for 10 minutes, she kind of ducks down on the floor, which I could not recreate, but I just saw it on the video, maybe the PlayStation 2 only. And there's probably a few other things that maybe... I didn't show off, but it doesn't matter. I love the game. I love the music. I love the graphics. I love everything about it. It's a short game when you really think about it. But overall, it's one of my favorite games. So thank you all so very much for watching this series with me and joining today. And I'm wishing you well, and I will catch you again with something else. You all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.